Hello, I'm Leif at Locatify. I'm going to show you how to make an indoor tour guide using IP cards in our Locatify Creator CMS. Here I'm creating my first project and uh, the language will be English. We can add more languages later, but it's an indoor guide. And then we have to add a floor. And for example, it could be a floor in a building or a building. And I will select a floor graphic, which was a PNG or a JPEG file. And here we go. This is a big file, so it takes a little while to upload. And if you want the user to zoom in on the floor, it's good to have a bigger file. All right. And here it's inserted. And now I will enter the coordinates. No, sorry, I mean the width and height in meters of this floor map within the defined margin which is to the outer walls of this floor. We have this option here to uh, play a background ambient when the user is you know on this floor. This ambient will be played in the background behind other audio but this is strictly optional but I'm gonna put in this little background uh, sound file here. I can preview it if I want to. Uh, and now I'll insert it. And now we have the background ambient. I'll give the floor also an, a localized name. Basically it's in English, so I'll call it floor one. And I can also optionally select uh, audio file to play on top of the uh, background ambient when uh, the user enters the floor or activates the floor. All right, so I save this. And here we have our floor map. And now we need to add stations, which is basically content that is on the floor. A station, active and inactive images. Uh, we have those default images, but I'm going to override that with my. Uh, this is my new active image, meaning that this image will be shown on the floor map when this particular station is activated. And the inactive image, you can use the defaults, but I'm going to override it with my own files here. Okay, here we go. And this station has the title of Locatify. And the audio will be played automatically or manually when the station is activated. And we have also the auto pop up and auto play options for audio. And, but now the content inside the station. We have templates, so I'm going to use the Spotify template for now. And the title here, sub subtitle and description. This template can be anything. This is just for the sample purposes. I'm going to use Spotify. And this little Spotify graphic. And then the Spotify URL for the playlist. So here I'm in Spotify. I'm going to find the song. And copy, well, yeah, the embed code, but it could be just the URL, so I'm going to remove this iframe and just leave the URL in here. All right. Um, there. there we go. So this is my Spotify song, and I saved the station, and I closed it. And now I'm going to move it to the right location on the floor map, and here it is. This is our Locatify station. Okay, and now I'm going to add beacons. Beacons will automatically then activate the station when the user is within range of the beacon. Uh, this is from the beacon uh, uh, provider, uh, Contact.io, this portal where I get the UUID, the major, and the minor number of the beacon, which is why I have to register in the CMS, so the CMS can recognize the beacon. And the UUID is always the same, and this UUID is uh, the one that comes from Contact.io. Uh, others, like Estimote, have another one. And here is the major and minor number. And the combination of major and minor numbers is always unique. Um, I'm going to take this beacon I created and drop it right here on that station and give it a radius of 3 meters, meaning this station will be activated if I'm within 3 meters of this beacon. I'm going to add another beacon here. Let's I'll just enter those numbers here for now. And this beacon is used to activate the floor automatically when the user enters this floor. So I'll put it here by the entrance. And 
often you may give a big radius for the floor activation beacon, but in this case it's three meters. All right, so back to the um, uh, editing the tour info. I'm going to have pick a logo for my indoor tour, and I can also uh, require the user to log in, and I can place the tour on this map there where it's located in the world. And here is some description, and this is a description about the tour that uh, you can have. The intro audio is basically an audio file the user can play, it's optional, about this tour. I'm saving, I'm closing, and publish. Here is our test version, and now I can use the Turquant app to actually download the, my test tour and enjoy it. And when it's ready for release, you pick an app to, to release to. Well, thank you. That's it for this tutorial. Have a good day. Bye.